Three, two, one. <laughs> right now we've got a little radio control tank and we're going to try to show what we can do for creating a barrel blast. Uh, let's gonna we just changed the battery, so we're going to test our tank, see if it's working. We were having a little trouble before. Ah, okay, here we good. go. Great. Perfect. So, mainly <laughs> panning, I think, is the best thing we could do on this, Alex. Okay. okay. And which direction? Huh? And that direction? Yeah, just, uh, in this case, that camera can get more of it than okay. this camera. This camera will get it more from this side. Nice. Okay. So, oh, still not, oh, di died again? Ah, oh, too bad. Well, uh, there's a, next week we're going to go over, uh, uh, radio control vehicles and also pulling vehicles on wires and doing some other things. So we'll cover the radio control aspects of this later. But today we're talking about the effects. So uh, we're going to talk about doing a barrel blast. Now in our in our show, um, our monsters are going to be attacking our city and our very um, brave uh, uh, National Guardsmen, they're going to be coming out in tanks to try to defend the city. So in order to get that kind of action you'd expect to see from a tank firing, um, we've built a uh, little pyrotechnic device into the actual tank itself. So, Richie, why don't we talk about what we've done here. We replaced the barrel that was plastic with a piece of metal. What, what yes, is that? Yes, we did. Uh, we've got a piece of uh, uh, brass tubing in here. Uh, now, and, then, and then what, uh, I see there's some wires coming out. Yeah, for right now, just for, uh, just for giving you guys a little uh, look-see of what we're gonna do later, uh, later, we, what we'll do when we film this for real, we will probably put a radio-controlled uh, receiver in here and activate it with our radio control. Uh, Which we're going to be covering next week. So, uh, but for now, we have a uh, wire coming out of here. What's inside here that makes, okay. uh, makes this go We off? have a little uh, hot uh, igniter in here. And what we're going to use in the barrel is a small piece of flash paper. I'm going to push it down in the barrel. I think I am. Maybe that's the wrong side. So this is the same kind of, of uh, muzzle loading uh, techniques used in the 1800s. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're still, like we're still that. doing them. Uh, so that was a piece of flash paper uh, put into our metal barrel. And then we have an igniter at the base. And then we're running our wires this way. When we do this for the shoot, we're going to run these wires into the um, tank itself and have a radio controlled um, switch that goes, makes it, uh, fires off the igniter. That's right. And that's on a battery. But for now, imagine that is cut onto this. What is this box here okay. that we're using? Uh, I could use a big battery box like I used in one of the other shots. In this case, this is something that the blasters use out in the blasting field. It's real handy for a single shot. I use them all the time. Um, it, uh, it's called a mini blaster. And so what is it? It's a battery inside? It's a battery inside, a charges up a capacitor, which gives me about 200 volts, which is way more than I need to do the shot, but it's so handy to carry. Okay. So we've taken our metal barrel, we've put in our igniter, we have our flash paper we've pushed back into it, we've run our wires to our blaster box, we've hooked that in, and now uh, is there a switch for that, or you just yeah, have to push the button? A couple switches for it. Okay. So I'm going to uh, make sure everybody is clear. Cameras are rolling. And I'm going to go hot. Green light, that means I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to step back to be I'm clear. I'm going to say three, two, one, and I'm going to fire this. Three, two, one. And now is it safe? It's safe. Thank you. I'll step back in. Uh, so that's a uh, very simple muzzle blast effect that we're going to be able to put into our tanks. Um, now that was very quick uh, to our eye, but uh, when we shoot that with the miniatures, we'll be shooting at a much f higher frame rate, so that flash will actually... Um, uh, yeah, the, fl the flash bigger. will come like this. About that fast, too. Yeah. If we shoot at 60 frames, boom. Yeah. And then that's, again, a very simple, uh, relatively simple device that we can reload and, and do that again for uh, other shots. 
And uh, in, our, in our world, we're going to have several of these tanks, so you imagine several of them surrounding our monsters uh, firing away.